Today I'm going to demonstrate how to launch a copy of an existing Drupal website locally using the Acquia development desktop. Uh, the Acquia development desktop is a virtualized environment that runs on both Windows or Mac that allows you to troubleshoot and test new features independent of your production database or production servers. The development desktop is available for download at acquia.com slash downloads. You can download it for Drupal 7 or Drupal 6 presently. I'd recommend Drupal 7 and again for Windows or Mac. Uh, simply follow along, uh, agree to everything and it'll install a clean version of Drupal core with a couple customizations done by Acquia to make it a little easier to use. Once it's installed, you'll have this control panel here with a single site running. The great thing about the development desktop though is you can launch any Drupal distribution, a copy of any Drupal site, or create a site from scratch by downloading the original code bases from drupal.org. It'll hold anything there in this XAMPP style environment. What we're going to do today is we're going to take an existing site running here at fishinggameidaho.gov slash content and we're going to take the code base for that and a MySQL dump file and launch it locally. A MySQL dump file can be created if you're running PHP MyAdmin by going to the specific database, the export tab, and accepting the defaults. What you'll end up with is a SQL file such as this and of course your code base which looks like a standard Drupal distribution plus your customizations in sites all modules and themes or your specific site directory. The one thing one thing you want to do before launching uh, this inside of the development desktop is go to the default and make sure you don't have a settings.php file, which I've already deleted here. You can either delete it or rename it. How to import. From your site's list, choose more. Then click import. Browse to the location of your code base and browse to the location of your MySQL dump file. Give a new database name and a server name. It can be localhost, anything really, doesn't matter. And optionally, as you'll see down here, you can provide a subdomain or a subfolder. We'll stick with the standard uh, content content we have here and click import. What this is doing is it's going to create a brand new MySQL database locally, and it's also going to create in your user directory, there's a new sites folder, which will include a copy of this site. When it's finished importing, you'll see your new site listed in the sites list, and you can click go to. Here it is launching locally at content port 8082. And here's the site. Ready for us to customize it further and test out without impacting our production environment.